Hey, what's going on there, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Naruto Cross Boruto Ninja Voltage. My name is Jonathan Snow, and today we're going to do some missions. And you can see today is Tuesday, so that means it is yellow. I do not know what the materials are called in this game, um, sadly. I guess they're just called material. But we're going to see here, we're going to go through all four steps. 3, 6, 9, 12. The reason why it is cut in half because we're still in the celebration of the game release. So it's still half stamina right now. But uh, here we go. We're just going to jump straight into it. And uh, we're going to see how difficult uh, the missions are. Alright, here we go. So you can see my lineup. Uh, pretty strong for pretty much the game early release. We're only... I don't even think we're even a week in yet. So pretty good right now. And uh, here we go. We're just going to auto it because I'm pretty sure my team is strong enough just to uh, run through everybody pretty easily. Uh, probably the 12 stamina we would have to. It's going to be 24 stamina, but hopefully we can actually still do auto on that one as well. <clears throat> but today is a good day because Gara is actually yellow. And since Gara is one of my, uh, main, <clears throat> my main ninjas on my team, I can't wait to actually increase his uh, ultra or his jitsu, his ultimate. So we're gonna see here exactly what it is. I think this is the last boss. There we go. And that was Gara right there, pretty quick. So you can see Gara was just the first person uh, at the three stamina. It will be six uh, later on in a future date. So here we go. We got easy completes. <clears throat> Alright, so we get some yellow, I don't even know what that is, I guess yellow dust, yellow rocks. Alright, here we go, we go back into it, we're gonna go to intermediate. Alright, here we go. So here we go, six stamina. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about farming these materials is the first material, the one in the bottle. Oh my goodness, that one takes forever to farm because the best way to farm that one in particular is the 6 stamina uh, mission because it drops more of them, unlike the 3 stamina one. And it's just, even though it drops more, but sometimes it only drops 1 or 2. And it takes forever and a lot, a lot, a lot. Every single Jitsu takes those yellow bottle pills or dust, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's they take a lot of them. Uh, just today, I was actually able to increase one of Naruto's moves to four to five stars, and it took over 70 of those bottles. So here we go, we're at the end. We're just gonna knock them out. I guess not. We, we both canceled out each other's super. Which is pretty hysterical. And there we go. <clears throat> uh, we probably won't get the complete of beating all the foes because there was one uh, enemy there left, but that's okay. We'll do that in some other time. Yeah, so there we go. So we do get 100 of those bottles, which is nice for the completing by 120. And uh, we get some yellow rocks. Alright, so here we go. We're jumping right back into it. We're going to advance. Can we still auto this? I'm assuming we can. All right, here we go. All right, let's go auto time. So there's definitely a lot more enemies as you can see. I am definitely just gonna help out my team just because the sake of not making a video too long. So I'll help them out as I see fit. Nice. There you go, Boruto. Mm. Those turtles are definitely annoying because they actually heal themselves. And they have a lot of HP. Alright, here we go. So we're I think we have like one more section left. There goes the snail. The snails also do healing too, but they're not as hard to take out like the turtles. Alright, here we go. Final area. 
Alright, here we go. We'll do the ultra, uh, ultra jitsu. Knock all the enemies out. Ooh, he pushes back. There we go, and that's it. <laughs> pretty simple for nine stamina. I'm pretty sure if I just let my guys just just attack, um, I could probably just not even have to do a jitsu, and I'll be okay still. All right, so we get the 120, which is nice. All right, so you can see what type of rewards that you get there. Not too bad. You get a decent amount of material, which is nice. But like I said, the only hard part of getting material-wise is definitely the one in the bottle. That one takes forever to get, and they don't get a, they don't give you a lot either. Let's try the 12 stamina one and see if we can actually beat this one. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna auto this. Uh, definitely, even though my guys are a little bit uh, powerful, uh, they still need to help them out, especially in this 12 stamina one. I don't think I, I can auto this without assisting, um, like you know, the the computers. I don't think I'll be able to beat this one. Unfortunately, um, when you do auto, auto does not do jitsus, which is, I don't know why they don't. I'm pretty sure in other games, when you do auto, uh, they still can do their moves, as well as their, ult their ultimate moves too. Which is pretty weird. I don't know why Bandai did not uh, implement auto into jitsus, but um, it's kind of weird. Alright, so we do got some healing here, which I think the turtles are healing. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the turtles and try to get rid of them before they keep causing too many heals. So let's auto this. Yeah, because that's going to be a big problem. It'll make the fight even a lot longer than it should be. Alright, so we're at the final room. Alright, so Gara, Gara is around here. Uh, but we're gonna get rid of these snails because they actually cause heal. And that they would actually make the fight a lot longer than it should be. So we're just gonna halt them. See, they heal over a thousand, which is not good. Alright, so we're almost... We're fighting Gara now. We have like 13 seconds left. Can we actually beat this guy? We have 10 seconds left. 8 seconds. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. We actually did not beat him. <laughs> We actually ran out of time, which is kind of sad. So I'm probably going to do uh, a recap of me actually beating the mission, so that way we can see exactly what, what rewards we get. Alright, so we're back at the gameplay at the end. What you really want to do at the, at the last room, you want to ult uh, with the AOE straight to the snails on the back left corner of the map. You have to do that, otherwise you will lose and you will run out of time because they'll keep on healing Gara, and Gara has a ton of HP. So with that being said, that's what you want to do and you want to focus on. Uh, you don't care about any of the little machine little things there, you care less about that because uh, you don't have enough time. Uh, but once you actually do get to complete it, you can see here. Uh, right, where we're, right where we're standing, yeah, that's where the snail spawns, so you want to use your ults there and just destroy all three of them, because if you leave even one standing, you will not <laughs> win this match, because you'll run out of time. Uh, but with that being said, you can see here, this is the rewards of the final mission of 12 stamina. It will be 24 after the half stamina is over, but I hope, hopefully this video was kind of informative, or you can see exactly what you get 
uh, when you do complete all the missions of this particular color, which is yellow, which is Tuesday. So, with that being said, my name is Jon Snow. Let me know what your guys' thoughts is. Can you guys complete all four of them? 